This lecture covers few of the most important topics in pediatrics. In this, I have tried to touch almost all the key points required by you in viva and theory exams. Let's start first with respiratory. The most important topic in the respiratory is pneumonia. Let's first study the common causes of pneumonia. These are grouped with respect to age groups. Like 0 to 2 months, the most common cause being same as neonatal sepsis, like in India, Klebsiella, and in the world, Streptococcus agalacti. 2 months to 5 years of age, the most common cause being viral and bacterial, out of which RSV being the most common cause. 5 years to 15 years of age, atypical organisms are also common, along with pneumococci. In cases of immunocompromised patients, pneumocystis gerovesi, histoplasmosis and coccidiomycosis that are all opportunistic organisms. Let's see the clinical features of pneumonia. Most important clinical feature is tachypnea, which is increase in respiratory rate. WHO gave a criteria for early diagnosis of pneumonia based on respiratory rate. If the respiratory rate is more than 60 in an age group 0 to 2 months, then we classify it as pneumonia. If the age group is 2 months to 1 year and if the respiratory rate is more than 50, then we classify it as pneumonia. And if the age group between 1 year to 5 years and if the respiratory rate is more than 40, then the pneumonia is. Note, here the respiratory rate must be counted for at least 1 minute. Now coming to the other clinical features which include nasal flaring as shown, chest retractions as can be seen here, fever, cough, Now let's see the type of breath sounds. Vesicular, bronchial and bronchovesicular. These are the three types of breath sounds. Let's understand them with a line diagram. Here we have made a graph with x and y axis. For further simplicity, we draw alveolar bronchial tree along y axis. Now as the air moves from bronchi, it produces sound. Since bronchioles are getting expanded, as the air moves along, hence the narrow passage of air produces more vibration and hence the sound. Therefore, ascending line is drawn on the graph. Now as the air reaches alveoli, it expands. The alveoli produces the sound, which is represented as further ascending line. Now as the lung recoils and so do its structures, hence the air gushes out from the alveoli into the bronchioles producing sound, hence represented as descending line on graph. But note in expiration, as the air moves along the dilated bronchioles, there is not much sound produced as compared to inspiration, hence no line is drawn. Now let's learn the concept. The sound produced in bronchioles are called as bronchial sounds and the sound produced in alveoli are called as vesicular sounds. Note, since in respiratory system, the expiratory sound are given more importance, hence we name the types of sound based on expiratory component involved in the graph. Hence, in this graph, only alveolar part is involved in expiration. Therefore, name of the breath sound given is vesicular, which are seen in normal lungs. Similarly, in case of any consolidation or fibrosis or pneumonia, since the alveoli are filled with some mass or fluid etc., hence the expansion is limited and so is air entry. Therefore, no inspiratory and expiratory alveolar breath sounds are heard. As seen in the graph, only bronchial sounds are present. Expiratory bronchial sound are, is present because the consolidation of the fluid filled alveoli acts like a solid phase for sound to travel since sound travels better in solid hence even the mild bronchial sounds in the expiration are heard giving the name bronchial breathing sound now let's see the third type of sound which is because of mechanism just like ball and valve 
As we all know, asthma is inflammatory disease of bronchioles in which narrowing of bronchioles occurs since inflammation. In asthma, during expiration, further narrowing occurs and hence produces a characteristic sound. These narrow areas also prolongs the expiration. The sound produced is like a whistle or musical sounds which are better known as V's. Note here both alveolar and bronchial sounds are present hence the name given is bronchovascular sounds. <laughs>